Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. Today we're going to talk about geolocation and this is going to be a short video about explaining what geolocation is. Um, geolocation is actually the process of identifying your location as an object and an object usually meaning you as a user on the internet. Um, the association can be made through an IP address each country has IP addresses, IP blocks, um, like ranges of IP addresses, public IP addresses, I should say, not private. Private, then we talk about a network, like local area networks, but we talk about public IP addresses, wide area network, which is the internet. So the Netherlands, Germany, Austria, France, countries like that, and of course the United States, China, Russia, they all have their own IP ranges when it comes to uh, public IP addresses. So when your device, a smartphone, a laptop, whatever you use to connect to the internet with, gets assigned an IP address, um, based on that IP address, you can already see what kind of country that you're in. So like 20 years ago, we had the first analytical tools that based on IP address told uh, you where your users from the website were coming from. So IP address is one of the one of the indications where you're from, geolocation. Wi-Fi positioning systems is basically when you walk with your smartphone um, through a city and you still have your uh, Wi-Fi settings enabled to access any um, Wi-Fi access point that it can connect to. As soon as you connect to a Wi-Fi access point, um, your device is connected to the internet. It will be assigned an IP address. And based on that IP address, it's very easy to track in what kind of range that you're located. So you're walking through uh, Amsterdam, uh, you go to the, uh, you know, you, you, you walk through Amsterdam and you go to, yeah, a coffee shop or you go to uh, a Burger King and you connect to the Wi-Fi there, um, your device will be connected to that Wi-Fi access point and that, uh, that Wi-Fi access point will grant you an IP address. And that IP address uh, corresponds with the internet service provider of that city. Um, so basically, it's known that you connected in Amsterdam to a Wi-Fi access point. Maybe you have GPS enabled on your phone also. So you have GPS coordinates and you have an IP address. So it's pretty sure that you as a user, you've been there. You've been there at that exact point in time and you connected to that Wi-Fi access point and you left a trail, geolocation. Another thing is GPS coordinates, uh, smartphones, smartwatches, uh, even cars. Uh, I mean, cars maybe before smartphones already, they had GPS modules in them. Um, if you use an Android device, you can see um, by default, there's a certain page in your uh, uh, Google account. It's also about locations and Google Maps, and it, 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 it basically tracks you. So. Uh, at the end of the month, it will tell you how many hours of that month you, you sit in a car and how many kilometers or miles you've driven. Um, all based on GPS coordinates. It can uh, tell you how many kilometers you've driven because the GPS is constantly tracking your movements on the globe. So geolocation is um, for like in privacy terms, it's, it's, it's kind of shady. But geolocation also has an other side to it. Let's say, for instance, that you operate a website um, and you get a lot of hacking attempts from the Ukraine or from Russia, from China, North Korea, but Japan, the United States, uh, you know, those kind of countries. And you don't have any customers uh, in those kind of countries because you're running a local website for your own small area for a couple of friends or whatever, but you're still getting hacked. Based on those IP blocks that I told you earlier, uh, when it comes to countries, you can say, okay, the IP is coming from this country, let's say for instance, North Korea, no North Korean IP can connect 
to this uh, website. Of course, when a North Korean hacker thinks there's an interest in your website, he can uh, purchase himself a VPN service, which masks his location, um, saying that he comes from France and I, I didn't block France. So he can, um, as, for the website, it shows that you have a French IP, so you will have access. Uh, but but you get the big point um, when you talk about information security there's only a couple of places in the world and I will not call any countries because you know in this political correct era I will not go that far but there is just certain countries where a lot of uh, hack attacks are launched from sometimes through their uh, original IP and sometimes masked with a proxy or masked with a VPN service but um, let's say for instance you don't have any customers in the Ukraine uh, or you know other kind of countries then you just block the whole country based on IP addresses so geolocation is basically um, you can divide it by IP addresses the IP blocks Wi-Fi uh, positioning system so you connect to a Wi-Fi access point in a coffee shop or a McDonald's or a Burger King and you will be given a IP address and that it also makes sure that you have a public IP address which is also uh, always located to a certain location you only have certain IP blocks or ranges in a certain city so it's very easy to determine that you are in Amsterdam or you are in Eindhoven or in Maastricht based on IP addresses that's how all the smartphones work as well because you will get the weather for Maastricht you will get the weather for Utrecht things like that that's how they are able to uh, tell you the weather the local weather based on geolocation and GPS coordinates that's uh, connecting to the uh, global positioning system uh, all the satellites that circle around the world and if you have three or four satellites locked on, they are able to uh, calculate your exact location. Uh, so this is basically what I want to tell you about geolocation. It's an important subject when it comes to information security. Um, uh, sometimes even when you have a car, let's say for instance, you have a company car and you, um, in the contract it says you're only allowed to use this car for the company inside this uh, country. So as soon as you drive to the border or you are about to drive to the border or maybe one or two kilometers that you are in another country already, uh, the engine will shut down. It's possible based on geolocation. Uh, you're not allowed to drive the car um, to another country. You're not allowed to travel to Mexico. You're not allowed to travel to Canada. You're not allowed to travel to Germany from Holland. You're not allowed to travel to Belgium and France from Holland based on geolocation. GPS, Wi-Fi connection, IP addresses. So this is basically my lecture about geolocation, which is just one subject of information security. Hope this was useful for you and if so, subscribe to my channel and we hope to see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.